Let's have a look at how we can use Reality Composer to create some augmented reality content linked to our faces. To start with, I've used Keynote to draw these very stylish and fashionable sunglasses. I'm going to swipe this page away for now and open up Reality Composer. Now, as long as you're using a device with a true depth camera, so one that has face ID, you can create a new document with the face as an anchor point. Tap onto here and you'll get a new document, a new workspace, with a face mask in the middle. There's a speech bubble in the top corner. We don't want that for now. So you're going to tap on the bubble once to select it and then tap on it again and press delete. At this point, I'm going to drag up from the bottom to show the dock and I'm going to slide the Keynote window over as a popover window. I can now see Reality Composer and Keynote. So I'm going to tap on my sunglasses once and then I'm going to tap and hold to select them and lift them off of the page. I can now slide my finger across and drop it straight into Reality Composer. From here, I can adjust the position and size of my glasses. On the right hand side, on my inspector, I've also got a scale option. I'm going to make the sunglasses a bit more of a normal size and I'm going to position them just above the bridge of the nose. So when I tap on the glasses, I get three different coloured arrows, one for the X, Y and Z coordinates. I can tap and drag to move this along, or I can turn them to rotate around the circle. When your glasses are in place and looking good, you can go to that top corner and press AR and the play button. That will get rid of all of the interface of the program, and it will just show you wearing your very stylish new glasses. This is a bit of fun making some novelty summer sunglasses, but imagine using it in classroom by recreating your favourite book characters such as Harry Potter with his glasses and the lightning bolt scar. Or perhaps you could even have like a role playing exercise where you dress up as different characters using augmented reality. It's great fun. There really are so many possibilities for using the face anchor in Reality Composer. I'd love to see what you come up with, so if you make anything interesting, share it in the comments down below or tweet it to me on Twitter at Jacob Walcock. I'd love to see what you're making in Reality Composer. Hey, thanks for watching that video. Now, if you enjoyed that and you want to find some more quick tips for your iPad or to use in your classroom, do me a favour and press the subscribe button down below. That will really help me out and it will help you keep up to date with all the latest tips and tricks on my YouTube channel.